So the plan for today is to first of all get the pump out done. We did groceries this morning so that was good. Our son is with my in-laws and I think we're going to try and get a few jobs tackled because in a week and a bit we're supposed to be heading to the Thousand Islands um, for our little vacay cruise. Thank you guys so much for your help. Yeah, you too. Yes, you will. We're always around. <laughs> Fighting against your prop walk a little bit. I just told everybody about all the jobs that we have to do. And what is it that we're doing? Ice cream. Do we still use the same docks for uh, the ice cream place? Yeah, the, the Williams there, dock. So where that one boat is parked, the black one, there should be a dock beside. Oh, there's somebody there. So... So there's one on the inside. Well, I'm gonna the same finger as the black bolt. Can I explain what I was going to do? Sure. I'm going to go in and then I'm going to turn us around and we're going to dock on the same side as that black boat, but I'm going to turn us facing the other direction since that's where our line is. So we're are. pointing out, yeah. That's exactly what I was going to tell you to do. Oh, you don't need to tell me because I knew what I was doing. Boating with your party is fun. Right, so I can film or I can... Here comes Jo and her partner now. We can help them dock. They're flying. We first needed to figure out if we could get the dinghy on the foredeck before we could take it with us on our cruise, as we do not have a davit system. Harbor is nasty, guys. Good bad. Hi, guys. <clears throat> oh, we did just get back from crashing a boat. Yes, that's true. Uh, so we've been racing. Chris and I don't always get to race together, but when we do, we crash the boat. <laughs> we didn't do it. Or get crashed into We. It was, yeah. Up for debate. It's still up for debate. 
I, I think everybody on our boat, obviously, is of the consensus that we were not to blame because we were trying to duck out of the way. But because we were on port tack and the other boat was on starboard, there might be an argument to be made that they had the stand on. But it's one thing to be standing on, it's another thing to be turning into us. Yeah, so when you're... When you are in the stand-on vessel, you should not be... You, you need to maintain course and speed. That's what stand-on means. We were the give-way vessel, which... So a lot of people say, oh, do you have the right-of-way or not the right-of-way? I'm like, well, it's not really right-of-way, because when you have the right-of-way, you can't do whatever you want. You have to maintain speed and course. So we were the give-way vessel, so and we... And they should have maintained. So we were ducking behind the other vessel, so we were supposed to be, uh, like, aiming for the, the raft, or... Past. Just ducking past them. <laughs> yeah, uh, but then they did not stand on. They decided to duck, duck us. us. So, but we were already well ducked. Like we had our sails. Well, uh, we sails were already out. well ducked. We were well ducked. So then they they ended up keep coming down, keep coming down, and so it was almost like a head-on collision. Yeah, it was uh, crazy. So they took the front anchor. They took the anchor off, and it was wrapped in their uh, forestay. And they ripped the pulpit like all up. Like the pulpit got <clears throat> twisted like real bad, and the the stanchions got pulled out of the deck. Like on our boat, their boat didn't have that kind of damage. They had a, a ripped jib sheet. A ripped jib sheet. Anyways, I'm not sure if we're allowed to be talking about this anyway. I, well, I mean, we're not. We don't know until we know. So when we know, we'll either include this or not. But, but the however, reason that we turned on the camera was. Uh, I have a friend at work who watches our channel. And you always watch <coughs> on our premiere yeah. nights and you're always there and Andrew, thank you for always being there to watch. Like, it makes me feel super good to know that we have people who are like committed to being like, I need to watch this. So, anyways. Yeah, so he, he said a whole bunch of nice stuff to, to me today and he asked me when we're leaving. So we're planning on... Uh, I leaving have for our... Not leaving, leaving. No, yeah, so I have three weeks of holidays uh, coming up, so he was asking where we're going, so we're headed towards the Thousand Islands, hopefully, uh, if not Toronto. As far as we can go. We're, we're going <laughs> <Reasonably>. west. <laughs> no, we're going east. <laughs> we're going east. Uh, so he said, take this package, to, uh, I want you to have this before the, the trip. So he gave us a, a package. It's nice, it's so nice to have like gifts, like this is quite hefty, I don't know what possibly be in it. So, in the top drawer there, there's scissors. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Chocolate. Wow! Oh, I'm sorry, it looks like a nice note. Hey guy, or do you want to read it? Hey guy, I hope that you have a wonderful trip and have a great anniversary. Here is a little, I, I can't even remember telling him that was our anniversary. What a memory on that guy. Here is a little wine and chocolate to enjoy your time on your cruise. Take care for Andrew and Connie. Super nice. I'm not sure if this is going to last till the trip. I feel like digging into this now. Thank you so much like that's really really nice that's super nice you don't need to do stuff like that thank you but anyways that's really cool that's super cool of you i like wine <laughs> chris likes chocolate so it works out pretty well <laughs> thank you cheers guys cheers We have a list and a tentative date of when we want to leave by for the Thousand Islands, um, but there's a ton of stuff that needs to get done. So we are now on our way to the Chandlerie. Which oh, smoky. Oh. 
On our sailing trip to Toronto, we realized that the alternator was broken. It was no longer charging our batteries as it should be. So now we need to take it out and see if we can find someone who's able to either repair or replace a part from 1979 that is no longer being made. So if we put a, a bolt in there and then I can pivot on that and then the pivot goes along this slotted bar. So then we can tension the, 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 the V-pulley, the, v, the V-belt. Oh dear. I can't pull it. I thought there would be more slack in that. So we do need to take off the top step. This is a lot. I know I think I might take off this bar. Hopefully they can rebuild it. I'm taking the alternator over to our friend Chris's boat. He offered to see if a buddy of his could repair or find a comparable replacement part. But we were starting to worry we wouldn't be leaving for another few weeks and we were already almost a week into our vacation time. The Thousand Islands was sadly looking more and more out of reach. Of course he's not here. I'm gonna knock, but I don't think he's here. Classifies as a knock. always torn between this desire to absolutely do nothing because when William's here like even doing nothing like you feel guilty like you you're like this should be entertaining him somehow so oh that was a big lightning strike Okay. What was I saying? Oh, um, I have this like guilt about needing to get work done because William's not here and Chris isn't here. I have nothing really that I have to do for anybody. I, I do also want to get the boat ready for our Thousand Islands trip. But this is a great opportunity for me to actually get some editing done. And I do really like editing and I like making the videos for you guys and for me. Um, but I'm at war right now with the side of me that just wants to rest. <laughs> Unfortunately, our friend's contact didn't feel confident in repairing the alternator, and we were really eating up our cruising time. We had to start calling around. I've called a few people and nobody's been able to help me yet because it's such an old, it's 1979, so, yeah. Uh, as soon as possible. I'm on holidays and we're, we're planning on taking the boat cruising, uh, but we can't leave until I get that fixed. If I brought this in, do you think you'd have a, a replacement? Like, I, I kind of want this one repaired uh, as a spare. But if I brought this exact one in, do you think you could find a similar one I could use? Huh? It's a okay, I'm so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll head over there now then, okay? Yeah. Yeah. See ya. See you in an hour or so. Bye. 
soul no luck but he says uh, he can rebuild it but he's crazy busy he can't rebuild it anytime soon he says I, I, I'm sure I can fix it but he doesn't have any parts that might work he doesn't have he doesn't sell alternators so he said I, I deal with a few people who do sell so let me search see if they have anything in stock and he said no I got nothing in stock uh, like they, they make a newer model than this one uh, but even that one's so old that they don't I guess they're not really around anymore. It sure is a nice view, but we were really getting disappointed. Until... So we are almost a week into my three-week vacation. Uh, we dropped our alternator off yesterday to get repaired and it's already fixed. So we're uh, I'm on my way to pick that up. Gonna install that today. Uh, and then there's two or three other big things that we gotta do to, to get ready to go. Uh, finish installing the propane for the interior stove and uh, oven. Uh, have a steaming light. I need to figure out what's wrong with our steaming light. Maybe mount a new steaming light. And then figure out how we're going to tow or store our dinghy while, while underway. This doesn't even look like the same part that we gave to the guy to fix. I said when Chris came back, yeah? It's painted for sure. Oh, he painted it. He painted that, that end and I don't know how he cleaned up the plastic so well. How know. did he have the time though? Well, just a quick, they had it off. Spray painted. Jeez. All that was left was to install it and get the engine started. Thank you. 